Hey everybody, how are you doing? Uh, it's Wednesday, middle of the week, and uh, yeah, what are we up to today? We're doing the. Oh, see, I'm doing it every time, aren't I? Hang on. I've really got to remember to turn that off. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a bit rough today, I have to say. I didn't sleep hardly at all last night, and um, I've got a filthy headache, and I've managed to ping my back as well. So, feeling a bit rubbish today, to be honest, ladies. Um, so, we're gonna we're gonna do this sewing bits. Hi, Helen. Um, uh, yeah. So, right, I can't remember what, I'm gonna, what I was gonna say then. Right, my brain's really not with it. Okay, so we're gonna do the block of the week. Hopefully, we'll give everybody just a couple of minutes to come online. Um, like I said, I'm not feeling brilliant today. Um, I've got a hell of a headache, and uh, and uh, but we'll get through this. We'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> um, we are. We've um, we've been a bit had a quieter morning this morning actually, which is nice. Um, well, not nice really, but you know what I mean. It's uh, not been quite as manic as what I meant. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I've uh, managed to get everything all prepped and we're all ready to go in a bit. Okay, so we just wait for. Yeah, yeah, I'm just. Uh, Jean oh, thanks, Gina. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, I don't know. Just, just really didn't sleep. You know, my silly insomnia. Didn't sleep well and um, horrible headache today. So never mind. So hopefully you girls are all going to cheer me up and uh, make me feel a bit better. <laughs> Yeah, I almost feel like I've got a hangover and I haven't had a drink since the weekend. So I didn't only drink last night, but you know, that horrible, muzzy, heady feeling. But never mind, never mind, enough of my moaning. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Um, so we're going to do block of the month. So I'm going to flip you round and uh, Drew's going to uh, Drew's going to film. So we're going to do it in, we're going to try and do it in portrait, uh, landscape rather than portrait as well, because uh, it's, um, oh, hang on. It's on first. Yeah, we can't. We, we won't be able to use it. Left. Well, uh, yeah, we didn't put. Forgot to put the phone into to, uh, Drew's new toy. So, uh, oh, hi, Janice. Sorry, lovely. It's, it's sometimes I don't get to see your comments. You see, and Drew can only see about two or three. So, uh, so sorry if uh, we haven't acknowledged you, Janice. It's uh, it's not deliberate. Believe you me. It's, uh, I try and say hello to as many people as I can. Uh, right. So I'm going to flip round and uh, there we go. This Drew and he's gonna he's gonna film. Cool. So what we're going to do today is this is, uh, what's this, block six, week six? We've lost track now. I can't remember if it's five or six of the block of the week. And we're going to be doing the sugar star, okay, which is this one here, okay. Um, I've cut out all the pieces and hopefully you've got all the cut instructions. Um, can you see it, this one there? So it's kind of like a double pinwheel. So you've got a pinwheel coming out here and then you've got like another little pinwheel working there as well. Okay, so hopefully you cut out all the, uh, you've got all the cutting instructions. And just while Drew holds that there a second, I'm just going to grab my little book, which I've forgotten. Sorry, ladies, this is uh, not very prepared today. I'm going to have to get my laptop out because um, for some reason I don't know where my little book is. So um, if you just come, oh, <laughs> there it is. Got it. It was inside my laptop. No word I couldn't find it. <laughs> right. Okay. So sorry about that, girls. Uh, like I said, I'm really not feeling very well today. My brain's um, completely adult. So we're going to start with, um, you should have cut out from one of your fabrics. You should have cut out two four inch squares. So this was from fabric one, two four inch squares, and then two four and a half inch squares. Okay. And then from another fabric, you should have two four inch squares and then from a third fabric you should have one four and a half inch square okay and then from your background fabric you've got one seven and a quarter inch square oh, I did write it all down sorry ladies uh, yeah one seven and a quarter four three and a half inches and one four and a half inch so hopefully <laughs> you've got all that okay so um, the pattern, as usual, it, actually it's already online because it's part of the Hearts and Stars quilt. Um, so the pattern is already on there for the Sugar Star if anybody wants the written instructions. Okay, here we go. Right. I'm going to just, um, in two seconds, I'm just going to open the pattern up on my laptop because um, I forgot to print it out. <laughs> like I said, I'm not really not feeling it today. Sorry, girls. <laughs> Um, really not not with it so uh, give me just two seconds and then we're gonna get sewing so did you all get cut out everybody get everything cut out okay 
Uh, no, Susan asked, what is the block called, please? It's called Sugar Star. Okay, it's a Sugar Star block, which is this one here. It's probably got lots of other names as well, but um, it should be online, okay? And it's under the, it's not in the kits and patterns section, it's under the heart, My Hearts and Stars quilt. I think it was block number one in that, okay? So, sorry, two seconds, I just need to open this up. There we go. Okay, so I just need to pop that one there, and I will be with you. Like I said, I am battling a filthy, filthy headache today, and uh, it's all not quite with me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with, I've got to remember this, your background four and a half, and the one fabric, you just have, should have just one fabric, I think it was fabric three on the instructions, which is a four and a half as well, okay? So we're going to put everything else aside for a moment, and we're going to pop those together like this okay and we're going to cut diagonally across both ways okay so we're going to make some little quarter triangles so I'm just going to cut across there like that okay and then across here like that and obviously I would normally stand up and do this but I'm trying to do it towards you guys okay so you end up with four little quarter square, quarter, not quarter squares, so quarter triangles, and you should have four in your one colour and four in your background. Okay, like that. So now we're going to pop these together, and you want the colour to always be on the same side. Okay, so can you see, so I'm, I'm not using the long edge here, I'm using one of the short edges, so I'm doing this towards you, okay? like that okay and you want to match them all up so that your color is always on your left okay so like that and like that can you see that the color one is always on the left and we're going to sew these together with a quarter of an inch okay like oh, let me turn that around so you should have all four always with the colored bit on the left okay so i'm just going to pop these together and we're going to take these to the sewing machine Okay, so while I'm sewing, quarter of an inch as usual, okay, how's everybody doing? Everybody all right? Gina said not cut out, uh, so desperately writing all the instructions down as we go along. Oh, bless you. This could be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, the written instructions are on the website if you want them and they can be emailed out to you, okay? So I'm um, making sure that my coloured one's on the left. Sandra said I cut... Uh, I cut pieces, but only just got home after a mega household shopping expedition. Oh, excuse me. Uh, well, bless you. Yeah, it is a bit of a, it's a bit of a task at the moment. I was never a fan of food shopping anyway, but having to do it at the moment and and all the, all the social distancing doesn't make it easy, does it? Okay, so there we she go. She said she's cut out, but she might watch first. Yeah, well, sometimes I think that's easier. I know we call it a sew along, but. Um, sometimes it's easier to watch what I'm doing and then watch me back, which isn't a pretty sight today because uh, I am feeling very rough today. <laughs> uh, yeah, woke up not feeling great. Well, I didn't wake, I didn't sleep very much anyway because of my silly insomnia. And then when I did wake up, I wasn't feeling great. So uh, you're going to have to pull up with me whinging and moaning today, I'm afraid, girls. <laughs> Grace, asked, uh, Grace said, uh, hi, both. Sorry I'm late today. That's okay, lovely. Thank yeah. you for joining us. And Sean asks, uh, are you sewing the right sides together? Yes, yeah, so I'm sewing them with my right sides together. Okay, like that. So I've put right sides together. <coughs> Sorry, ladies, I my hay fever is bad, my nose is bad today. And we've got this on the left-hand side, so your coloured one's always on the left, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're just going to... You want to iron these seams open. Now, I know we don't normally do that with quilting, but because we're going to have a lot of seams coming together, this um, this will help reduce in the bulk, okay? So I'm just going to just quickly iron these seams open. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I, uh, my hay fever is absolutely off the scale today. And uh, I think that's probably what's making me feel really rough as well, because I'm very, very snuffly. And uh, not feeling myself. Filthy headache. So. Andy Griffiths asks, how many four and a half pieces did you cut in four? 
Faith, did you cut into four? Um, I cut my my one the back. There should only be one background, which is four and a half, and then it would have been fabric three. Where there was only one one of those, which is a four and a half. You don't cut the others. Okay. There we go. So sewing those. Uh, Sewn those together, I've got four identical and I've ironed the seams open. Okay, so I'm going to put those aside just for a moment. Now you want to go back to fabric number one. Okay, so for me that's this one. Okay. So um, that's the one that you've got two four inches of and two four and a quarters of. Okay, so you're going to take the four and a half ones, so you're going to put, leave the fours, you want the four and a halves. And again, I'm going to just cut those diagonally in half. Okay. I'm going to cut those down like that. How's everyone else feeling? Anybody else got, you know, got a cold or anything? Made me feel a bit better about feeling so rough. Share, <laughs> share in the misery, girls. <laughs> Linda says hi. Hi, guys. Everybody okay? Anybody else joined us there? You've got Eileen, she's trying. Cool. Right, so what I'm going to do now is with each one of these little quarter, uh, quarter triangle sets, I'm going to add in one of these triangles. Okay, so that was my four and a half inch fabric one, four and a half inches cut in half, and then I'm going to add that on like that. Okay, does that make sense? Shelley said no cold today, just knackered from yesterday. Oh, bless you. What were you up to yesterday? Anything, uh... Maria says she's looking forward to sewing bee tonight. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about sewing bee tonight. Oh, see, that's I'm uh, definitely out of sorts today if I forgot about sewing bee. So I'm just popping these right sides together like this. This The fabric one will be slightly bigger, but that's okay because we've got to square them all up, all right? So... I'm going to put them all right sides together and I'm going to sew those down. Yeah, so I wonder what they're doing on sewing bee tonight. I can't remember what. Does anybody remember on the end of last week, they they normally tell us what the theme's going to be, don't they? I can't remember for the life of what it is. Do comment if you remember. Let me re remind me. Barbara says, hi Sarah, sorry to be a poorly. Oh, I'll be fine, lovely. I'm just a bit grumpy and feeling miserable today. <laughs> Angela says hi as well. Sorry, she's late. Oh, that's um, all right, guys. And Thank Jenny said it, it was my birthday. Had tons of surprises. Oh, of course. Happy birthday, Jen. Oh, hope you're having a lovely day. I know it's all a bit different this year, but I do hope you're having a lovely day. So, see, I can't even remember what's, what's the date today. I know we're in April and it's Wednesday. Is it about the 20th or something? 23rd? 29th. 29th? Oh, good grief. See, I'm lost at the moment. Uh, <laughs> she had a five massive five-course meal dinner cooked by Rachel. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, bless you. It's, uh, yeah, it's been really interesting, actually, seeing different people celebrate their birthdays in lockdown. Amazing the effort that people are going to. There was um, a friend of mine in book club. Um, her kids did her pub crawl in the back garden. They set up all these little different stations and made decorated it all to make it look like a pub. They had cocktails at each one. <laughs> Suzanne said, I had a man replacing the shower, but now he's vanished. Yeah, a pipe an hour ago. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, Sarah was telling me, uh, Sarah Jane was telling me that you had a bit of a disaster with your shower. Okay, so I've just... Uh, Gina says it's tropical Hawaiian t-shirts, etc. <laughs> oh, yes, some... I remember seeing that. Well done, Gina. Yes, yes, I remember seeing the, the clip now. It's just come back to mind. Okay, so sewn all those together. I'm just going to set the seam like that. And Jenny then said gonna... I'll text you my present. Oh. oh, lovely. Yes, I'd like to see, please. And then we're going to... We're not going to sew this... Blah, blah. We're not going to press this one open. We're going to press it to the, the larger fabric, the larger triangle, okay? And that's, again, it's just to keep the bulk down as much as possible. So I'm just going to set the seam and roll that one out. <coughs> Excuse me. My voice is going as well. 
which my kids will be very happy about if I can't shout at them. There we go. Okey doke. Right, so now you want to, we want to square these up, okay? Now, because of how they've got this little point here, because you've got, rather than normally, normally squaring that, we've got two fabrics here. I'm going to show you a slightly different way of doing it. So I'm just going to grab my square. Okay. Now, we're still going to use the diagonal seam, okay? So I want these to be, <coughs> sorry, if you just come up to me a minute, darling. Um, I want these to be three and a half inches, okay? Um, but we want to make sure that the, the center point there is right in the center of a three and a half, okay? <laughs> so it's not just normal squaring up. You've got an extra little twist on this as well, an extra little measurement you want to find. So half a three and a half is one and three quarters. So that's the point that I'm going to try and find on my ruler. So for me on this ruler, my one in, hopefully Drew can get this, my one and three quarter line is here, okay? And there, and it meets, can you see that little red point there? So one and three quarters and one and three quarters meet at that little point there. So I want to put that point right on the center point here. Okay, so I wanna pop that on there like that. And then I wanna make sure that that 45 degree line is still going down through that diagonal. Okay, so I would then cut across like that and then along the top and then I'm going to turn the cut that squared up piece there the piece I've just cut to the bottom and now I can do three and a half and three and a half Sarah so why did you set the seam so why do I set the seam um so when you uh, I don't know actually it's, some, it's something that I picked up from uh, Jenny Dowen on Missouri Star years ago she was set she was set the seam and I think it's to do with like setting the thread she was does that first and then rolls out and I think again I'm just parroting what she what she said it's to do with um, it helps the seam sort of stay stable um, before you you push it you know, before you iron it out um, so yeah I think it's you know to do with like press it pressing the pressing the thread so I will investigate that further and find out why we do it because to be honest I don't 100% know it's just a, a little habit <laughs> Lisa Fowler says relaxes the stitches. Ah, oh, right, okay. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not sure, <laughs> there you go. I'm not sure what, why, uh, why we do it, but that does sound, that sounds like that makes sense. Okay, so, again, I'm finding that one and three quarter line, one and three quarter line, and it crosses over just here. I'm gonna put that right on the center point. Make sure that the 45 degree angle is right there. Okay, I'm gonna go up there and across like that and then turn it and we're gonna go three and a half and three and a half. Is everybody okay with that, with that squaring up? Please do say if you're not okay. I'm gonna, obviously I've got four to do so I'll do each one for you. Okay. Okay, so finding the one and three quarter, one and three quarter, right on that center point. Line up the 45 degree, and then go up that side and across like that. And you are taking off quite a bit, okay? We're taking off quite a bit of fabric this time. But um, you need them to be a bit big and cut them down because of this center seam. And that will make more sense when we start putting it together because you need them to be equal because they join up with other pieces that we're going to add on later. Okay, so that's the third one. And then the last one. I can't read the whole comment, Jenny. Jenny's written about the setting the seams, but it says seam also. I can't read the whole thing. Oh, right, okay. I'll read it later, Jen, okay? <laughs> yeah, on the screen, because it's like real time comments, Drew only gets just a couple of lines, which is why we sometimes miss your comments and I ask. Uh, um, I answer them later on because it's uh, <clears throat> they go quite quickly. They you only sort of like see two at a time and then they disappear. Okay, so those are those she says, four. She to Google all, and then Seth says that makes sense. Ah, right, fair enough. I will read it in a moment. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to make a pinwheel. So you've got four of these all nicely squared up to three and a half inches. I'll just get rid of those bits there. Okay. And you're going to rotate, rotate them. So I'm going to try and do this towards you guys, okay? 
So I've got my first one, so just concentrate on these big squares here. So I've got one like that, and then, oh, hang on, just trying to do it towards you, like that. Right, okay, <laughs> here we go. So like that and like that. Okay, and then that one's going to go like that. And then this one is going to go like that. Okay, so can you see that these ones here, which were my fabric one, have made a pinwheel, and then the little background ones make a pinwheel as well. And that's why you wanted, uh, you needed to keep the coloured always on the left hand side, because if you'd got them the wrong way round, you wouldn't get that little mini pinwheel in the centre. So we're going to sew those together now. So I'm going to stitch that one to that one. Okay, so there to there, and there to there. So we're going to pop those over to the sewing machine and again quarter of an inch sew them down. Okay. Now remember if I'm going a bit fast or anything ladies, written instructions are on the website. They're not in the kits and patterns, it's under the hearts and stars quilt pattern and you can buy those like, individually, each month individually. So you would need month one for the instructions for this one. Okay. There we go, and there, and then just grab the ironing board again, and again as always I'm going to iron these in opposite directions so that I can nest that centre seam. Okay, you could iron this flat open if you wanted to, okay, so that one's going to go that way, so this one's going this way. There we go, like that. And I'm going to sew this one to this one. Okay, nest that centre seam. Make sure that's nice and locked in. I do like to pop a pin there, just in the centre, just to hold it all down. And then we're going to do a quarter inch down that way. So, how's everybody doing? Any comments there, Drew, while I'm sewing this seam? Uh, Suzanne says that's very clever. Linda Head says, yes, got this one. Uh, Maria said, my cat is trying to help me. <laughs> it's a very clever cat. <laughs> or just sat on the sewing machine in the way. <laughs> Kate says, very clever. And Sally Collins says, hi, sorry I'm late. That's alright, lovely. Hope everyone's okay. There we go. So, that is your little centre block now done. So again, set that seam. And roll that Diana asks, do you ever use steam when pressing? No, no. It's it's a bit of a no-no steam with quilting. Um, I mean, that's something I've been told by lots and lots and lots of teachers, and it's certainly stuff that I tell people in our classes as well. So steam, because it's obviously water and it goes into the fabric, it can stretch out your fabrics lots. If you want to use a liquid, use a starch, because that obviously holds the... Um, the threads in place. Um, if you use too much, if you use steam, um, as your iron, well, you should iron anyway, you should just press, shouldn't you? But if you use steam, you'll stretch the, the fabrics basically get wet and they stretch and you get a lot more misshapen. So we always say no steam at all with quilting. Um, I know some people who absolutely steam and they steam a lot and they get by absolutely fine, but as a general rule, it's no steam with quilting. Okay, particularly if you're using very, very small pieces. Okay, so there we go. That's our first look. That's the centre bit of the block done. Okay, that little double pinwheel. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut up the rest of this. Sarah says, I love the quilt behind you. Makes me think of spring. This one, yeah, I like this one too. That's the Cosmic Star quilt. The pattern for that one is on our, our website if anybody would like it. Really nice and easy, lots and lots of half square triangles and, and just plain squares, but you can play with it and come up with some lovely patterns. So, <clears throat> you want to start with your uh, seven and a quarter inch background square, and again, we're going to cut this in half both ways. Okay, so we're going to cut from there to there, like that. And again the other way. And I try not to move the fabric because it's much easier to keep it in line. And obviously I would normally do this towards myself, not away. <laughs> okay, so I've got four triangles. 
okay and we're actually going to make these sort of flying geese pieces here okay can you see that top bit there is just like a flying geese it's just a slightly different way of making a flying geese um flying goose i never know flying geese <laughs> but um it does work okay so i'm just gonna give that a quick press because that's gone i had it folded up on my in, on my table and it's uh, gone a bit wonky and again with these ones so you should have two four inch squares left over from fabric one and you should have two four inch squares from fabric two okay and again, I'm going to cut those in half just once this time, diagonally. Okay, so I've got four triangles. I'll line them up together like that. And if you're going to cut more than multiple layers, um, make sure they're all facing the same way up as well, particularly if you're using directional fabrics. It just helps. It keeps it all, um, you know you've done it the right way then. And cut that one in half. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put the one, one of each of these triangles on each side of this. So you want to make sure that your fabric one, which again was the, the larger triangle in this one and this one, is always on the right hand. Right, so if I. So your flying geese are going to end. I'm trying to do it towards you. Your flying geese are going to end up like that. And you want this one this side, always this side, on the right hand side. And the other colour on the left hand side okay like that okay so I'm gonna but I'm gonna stitch all of these first so I'm gonna put these ones aside I'm gonna do all four on the one side so you want them all to go on the same side like that okay so another little tip as well because if this is a slightly unusual way, now normally when we do triangles, we try and get the same amount either side. You don't do that with this. You want to put the right sides together, line up that diagonal line, but you also want to line up this straight edge here. So both of those are a straight edge. So you've got the majority of your fat, all your extra fabric over the, over the point. Does that make sense, girls? Okay, so I've lined it up. Not only on the diagonal, but I've lined up the bottom edge as well, so that my excess is all over the point. So I'm going to do that on all, all four, okay? So back to the machine, and quarter of an inch again. So down that first one. I'll grab these as I go. I'm lining up that diagonal edge as well as the bottom edge, and stitching down. So, every, how's everybody doing? Any comments there, Drew, while I'm doing this bit of stitching? Uh, Linda said nice points, but that's about it so far. Charlie, good. Oh, that's right, the internet just went. Oh, sorry, our internet's been really dodgy for the last couple of days, actually. Sorry if you had a little blip there. Um, hopefully it just uh, restarted and you're all still with us. <laughs> <laughs> We're back now, everyone's, everyone's still there. Everyone's still there? Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Yeah, we've had a very, I don't know if they're doing some work or something, but the last couple of days um, we've been at really sta un unstable internet connections, so uh, it does, does blip now and then. Okay, so down all four, like that. Just tip this down. Ooh, I just want to cut. Why won't that cut? And just snip that there. There we go. <laughs> and again, use my scissors rather than my little cutter. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to iron these out. And it's important you iron them out before you put the next layer on, okay? Jenny uh, said ours has been dodgy as well. Yeah, it's been, um, that's been terrible the last couple of days. Okay. She okay. asked, which fabric are you using, uh, are you adding first? Um, I'm adding on fabric one on the right hand side of each of these so if you go down here this should be your fabric one okay which was the the same as the large square the large triangle you put on in the pinwheel okay so so i'm adding that on. it doesn't actually matter which one you add on first as long as the 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 fabric one is on the right hand side because when they go on they're going to meet up with the ones in the center panel does that did that make sense is everybody okay with that yeah. Okay, 
out, just ironing these out, and I'm ironing them towards the the, the coloured fabric. Okay, and that towards the coloured fabric, like that. Okay, so now I've done that bit, I can put on the other side because you want it to overlap to give yourself that little quarter of an inch so that when we join them, your points all meet. So let me just move these out of the way again. There we go. So I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to put this one on this side now. So I'm going to flip it right sides together, line up the core, the diagonal line, as well as this bottom edge. So can you see it overlaps this one quite a lot, which is why we sew that on and then put, um, iron it out before we add these on. Okay. So again, back to the sewing machine. <laughs> and there we go again. Sheila says thank you. Okay. No problem. I mean, each of the elements of this block aren't particularly difficult. Um, it's it looks a lot more difficult when you when it's all put together. Like there's a lot more effort in it than you actually think. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one on here. I'm lining up the diagonal line as well as that bottom seam, just like we did previously. There we go, and then another one. So, anything going on? What's happening, ladies? Any oh, comments there, Drew? Carrie Owens just died. She says hello. Sorry for my lateness. Oh, hi, Carrie. Hope you're well. Maria asks, uh, how many squares were there for fabric one? So, fabric one, you should have had two four and a half squares and two four inch squares. So if you look back on our Facebook page, all the cutting instructions were, were there, okay? So yeah, fabric one, you should should have four squares in total, two that are four and a half and two that are four. Linda Pinch said, that's a great tip. And Marion said, just join, we'll catch up on YouTube. Oh, lovely, yeah, yeah. Mind you, not this face needs to be on YouTube at the moment, feeling rough as hell, but. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I had to stick some blusher on quickly before we came on air because I was like, oh, you look terrible. Really drained. I need some sleep, I think. I need some proper sleep. There we go. Okay, so that was that all done. Marie says, thanks. I think I cut them wrong. Oh, bless you. Yeah, ha check back on the, the Facebook page, love. But yeah, Fabric One should be, should have four squares in total. Two at four and a half, two at four. Okay, and then we're just going to quickly iron these ones out. And then again, there's a little bit of squaring up on these that you do kind of need to pay attention with, just so that oh yeah, if you don't care, you know, you if you want your points to really really match well, then it's worth um worth squaring these up at this point, okay? Because they are um they're just slightly too big for what we need, okay, because we've cut, because of the sizes we cut them. So, I'm going to go back to my ruler. Okay, now, will you be able to see, you might be able to see this ruler, okay. Okay. So, I want them to be three, we want them to be three and a half inches across this way. And you can see, just, they've gone a little bit out of shape, so we're going to square them up. So, we want them to be three and a half, but we want a quarter of an inch from, let me grab something to so I can do this so from this point here outwards we need a quarter of an inch so that when we sew the seam this point will sit right dead on the on the fabric below okay so that's what we're going to do we're going to line up we're going to find the quarter inch line on my ruler which this ruler here it's this one here and I'm going to put that quarter inch right dead on the on the point like that and I'm going to trim off any excess this side first okay so I've now got an exact quarter of an inch there I'm going to flip it round and then I'm going to measure my three and a half this way okay so by doing that you're making sure that you're not taking off too much from this side because if I'd have just measured three and a half from over here I have I don't know if you can see on the here so if I actually measured three and a half there and cut that off and then trimmed it I wouldn't have a quarter of an inch so when I joined them together you'd I'd have lost the point of the, the flying geese so, and I know it seems like a tiny weeny bit from each side but it's worth it if you want to get your points right okay so that's three and a half that way and then they need to be six and a half oh, rulers the wrong way around six and a half this way 
So again, half of six and a half is three and a quarter. So I've got my three and a quarter right on that point there. And I've used one of my horizontal lines here along the edge. And then I'm just going to trim off. And it is only a tiny, weeny bit, but it will make a difference. And then I can do six and a half from this edge. Okay. Right, I'll do that again for you, okay? Does that make sense what I'm saying, though, about making sure you've got your quarter inches and all right? So, quarter inch line on the point, like that. Okay, like that. Oops, hang on, it's just moved moved when I didn't want it to. There we go, so quarter of an inch on that point there. Get that nice and straight, there we go. And take off that bit of excess. Turn it, and now we're gonna measure three and a half out, okay? So three and a half, like that, and there's all literally nothing pretty much to take off there, tiny weeny bit. And then we're gonna do the six and a half, so. Oh, this ruler, I don't like this ruler. I always end up picking it up the wrong way around. So I've got my three and a quarter on the points like that. And it literally is just the dog ear on that one because that one came out almost perfect. And six and a half that way, like that. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing that, the other two. Anybody there? Anybody got any questions? Marilyn said you're doing fab considering you're not well. Oh, I'm all right, love. I'm only feeling a bit sorry for myself today. Because I didn't sleep well and my, my nose is playing up a weeny bit. But I'll be all right. But thank you. Thank you for your concern. Kate, as well as so Paul, you, um, well done for doing this. Oh, if I didn't do it, you see, then I'd be cross with myself. You know I'm a control freak. <laughs> and then Andy Griffith says, perfect sense, thank you. Good, 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 good. So, you know, I, you know I'm a, a terrible control freak. And if I didn't do it, I would. I'd be really cross with myself. I'd let a cold or whatever this is get, get the better of me. Okay, so. There we go. So just take the dog ear off that side. And the six and a half this way. Again, it's just, ooh, just a widgy, widgy bit off the edge. But I know it's a pain. I hate squaring up. It's one of my real bugbears. But... It makes such a difference to the block. It's so worth doing. Um, it's just, after you've put all that time and effort into to making everything, it's worth just taking these few extra more moments and squaring everything to make sure that it all fits. So, so ladies, back to Sew and Bee tonight. Who, who are we uh, rooting for? Who do you guys like? Anyone in particular? What do you think? I think I quite like the guy who um, who did like the festival 60s quilt. I quite liked his work. Um, and I quite liked the guy who did all like the drag queen quilt uh, dresses, dresses as well. I thought he was really good. So we'll have to wait and see what uh, they come up with tonight, won't they? <laughs> okay, so now it's time to lie the whole thing out. All right, so we're going to start with a lovely centerpiece that we've already made. Oh, I tell you what, I should be pulling more often. That point's pretty good. I'm quite impressed with that. Then we would add on a flying geese there and a flying geese there. Okay. And can you see how this that was the reason they had to be certain ways so that they do that? Charlie Bridge has said I like squatting up. Am I odd? I'm assuming that's supposed to be squaring, squaring up. <laughs> I think you've had a little <laughs> little uh Autocorrect fail there, love. <laughs> there we go. So these are going to go like this. And you should have four three and a half inch squares left, which will go in the corners like that. Okay. So like that, like that, and like that. And there's your block all done. Okay. So we would sew this one to this one to this one in a row like that. You're going to sew that one to that one, like that, and then this row together, and then you'd put your rows together, remembering to sew in opposite directions, okay? So, anybody, everybody okay with that? Anybody want me to go through anything again? Is there anything there that you were like, mm, I'm not sure about? Remember, I, we really love to see the stuff you're doing, so please, please do post onto our Facebook page if you make the block, post on our page so we can 
do a little little collage we've done it the last couple of weeks of all the different collage you know like all the different pictures you've all sent in so it is lovely and i think other people I, I mean, all of you guys out there you all like seeing it as well which is uh it's nice it gives you ideas for color combinations and all sorts so jenny yeah. said i can't remember the names i like peter uh the drag queen yeah. dressmaker yeah uh, i thought he had some real skill there Terry said, I was fascinated with the girl who made the, uh, who likes to make, wait, sorry, the girl who likes to dress as a young Miss Maple. Oh, Miss Marple, yes. Marple, um, sorry. Yeah, the, the girl that was all um, in like vintage with the, with the ro victory rolls and all in her hair, yeah. Yeah, and I quite liked her dress as well, now thinking about it, it was the one that had like the purple with the floral panel down wasn't it yeah i quite like that i quite like that whole 50s sort of 40s 50s style stuff anyway so uh gina says so i liked her too yeah um say i like that one as well yeah. cool cool yeah, yeah that's a oh we've got a book club zoom tonight as well we have to be quick on book club aren't we so i can get get on to, on to watch so and be i'll have to watch on catch up otherwise so don't tell me anything okay <laughs> um Cool. Right. Ha going back to the block, though, ladies, is everybody OK with that one? So hopefully that's what your block will turn out like. And it actually, when you break it down into smaller elements, it's not that difficult. It's, um, you know, just remember to do the squaring up bit. OK, I think it's really important. And think about your placement of your colours. So, um, like I said, the, the patterns on the website, if you want to buy it, if you want written instructions or you'll just have to pause me and listen to me snuffling along <laughs> and do it step by step with me. OK. So that's the sugar star block. Um, what's happening tomorrow? So tomorrow says um, doing uh, doing the one o'clock live, and she's made some really beautiful like fabric baskets for storage and stuff. And you can use bows all or loads of le leftover bits of wadding in all that in them. So that's really yeah, they're really cool actually. Really nice little storage project. Um, and then I'm back on Friday with some quilt as you go. So has anybody got any questions? Anything they'd like to ask today? Because if not, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea and curl up on the sofa, I think, because I'm feeling rough. I'm going to take some tablets. <laughs> so, uh, actually, no, that's a lie. I can't do that because we've got a chanda tomorrow. I've got a couple of emails I've got to send. But I might curl up on the sofa with my laptop and do it that instead. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I think that's no. it. Cool. OK, right. Well, ladies, sorry for uh, sorry for my bit of a moan and all today. Um, hopefully I'll feel a bit better tomorrow. Um because uh, I've got to do a Skype thing with Hachanda in the morning. Um, and then I'll, sit, I'll be back on Friday with the one o'clock. Um, please do tune into Hachanda at 10 tomorrow. Um, we are on, it's channel 85 on Freeview. I can't remember, I can never remember what it is, 673, I think. I know Sean's put a post on today about the about Hachanda, but that's 10 o'clock tomorrow. Says on tomorrow afternoon. And then I'll be back on Friday and hopefully I'll have kicked whatever this is. So uh, <laughs> I'll speak to you soon, girls. Bye. Take care.